What's up guys? It's me, your badass host Draven, and welcome to another episode of our Pokemon Arc Gold walkthrough. Okay, so good god. It's been a long time coming, but now we're going back to the radio tower because we need to take care of a little situation, and that is Team Rocket them themselves. Yes, in the last two episodes, we went to the radio tower, got disguised as Team Rocket member, defeated all the the Team Rocket members, found out that the director was an imposter. Then we went through the underground basement, beat the crap out of Silver, got the real director, got the key card, and look at this. We're going in here now because we need to save all Pokemon kind. Now, whose idea was it? Okay, I'm going to say this right now. Whose idea was it to put a transmitter up in the radio tower that could control all Pokemon? Whose idea was that? Seriously. I want to know that. Because, uh, don't you think that would, uh... That would enable a lot of, you know, gang members, team members, criminal syndicates. Because remember, there are more than just one criminal syndicate, like Team Aqua, Team Magma, uh, Plasma Galactic, uh, Flare. Holy crap, even Skull. Even Skull could try and do that if they were actually evil. Don't you think that would have, uh, you know, attract those guys to come over here and then, you know, kind of control the world and all that stuff? Control all Pokemon. That's kind of bad right there. So that's another ram right there, guys. So, yeah. That, 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 yeah, so why would you do that? I don't know. So here we are, battling a whole bunch of Team Rocket members. Now, in this part right here, we're going to be taking on the executives. Some very good Pokemon trainers as well. So make sure to have your Pokemon nice and leveled up because, uh, yeah, they are not going to be easy. Well, sometimes. Some of them. If you have the right type and all that stuff. And look at that. Coughing has survived. Using a smoke screen just to prevent us from beating it. And, well, do we have Aerial Ace? No, we don't. So, this is a shot in the dark, and the shot in the dark won. Say goodbye to Cuppy. Alrighty. Look at that. Okay. Let's get this. Let's go. Do it for America. Okay. Alrighty. Look at that. We won. And, well, now we're going to be going through different floors, meeting up with executives, as you can see. I think that's Proton right there. What up, Proton? I haven't seen you in quite some time. Yes, at the Slowpoke Whale. He's so angry that, no, he wants to... Yeah, he wants to beat us and all that stuff. So, here we go. Going up against an executive or director, whatever the heck he is. We're going up against Proton. And, of course, he has to do his pose just to be more menacing and all that stuff. But guess what? I gotta talk to Batman. Your go back ain't got nothing on me. So, here we go, fly attack. See if you can do that. You know why I got a Crobat? Because it loves me. Unlike your Golbat, doesn't love you at all. So, here we go, fly attack. And, there we go, fly attack. Nearly beats this guy. Good gravy, and look at that. We get ourselves a Confuse Ray. Okay, so we're not... We're not exactly winning just yet. And, knowing my history with Confusion, not good. So, what we're going to do is we're going to be switching out our Pokemon right here. Because, yeah, I have really, really bad history with Confusion. So, let's Paralysis. And here comes a Wing Attack. Doesn't do much. Not very effective. Doesn't get paralyzed. I don't know why, but here we go. Thunder Punch. For the win. Eat it, Golbat. Alrighty, alrighty. There it goes. Golbat. And, well... Fluffo gets more experience points, Hercules as well, and here he comes out with a wheezing, oh, I got a Pokemon for you, I do, I got a Pokemon for you, as soon as I press this button, there we go, and uh, there we go, Relic, see, I haven't battled this guy since the Slowpoke well, that was a few episodes ago, probably a few months ago, but, yeah, I think we can, I think we can do something about this. We can beat them. So let's go right ahead and, uh, well, let's see. Let's go ahead and use a Sabim attack just to win this thing. There we go. Let's go. Let's go. Say goodbye, Weezing. Say goodbye. Yeah, buddy. Okay. Alrighty. Look at that. And Executive Proton has been defeated. I'm feeling good about myself, too. So let's... Go ahead and grab this item right here, and that is an Ultra Ball. Now, this is a little bit of foreshadowing because uh, usually when you're getting a lot of Ultra Balls, it usually means a legendary Pokemon. And here we are on the last floor, and we know who this one is, and she ain't happy. Oh no, she is not happy with us. Okay. 
maximum effort, and uh, Rihanna, she's like, I remember you from the hideout in Mahogany Town. <laughs> Looks like you're all alone. All alone! So it should be quite easy. Bring it! Let's finish this! Okay, so Ariana Grande wants to take us on, and like I said, she is holding a grudge just like every single woman out there that I've dated. And uh, yeah, she's coming strong with her Arbok. Holy crud, Arbok is a menacing one. The truth is, guys, hell has no fury than a woman's scorn. And, well, do you not know why I'm using takedown? It doesn't really take that much, and here comes a crunch attack. And, nope, not so effective, but guess what? We're going to be going with another takedown attack. I don't know why I'm not using Shadow Claw. And, oh yeah, it's a physical attack, my bad. And, just like that, we get a glare attack. I think I explained this in the last few episodes, in the last two episodes. I don't even know. So, let's go right ahead and uh, go with the close combat. See where that, where that goes. And, well, we're getting crunched. And, oh, wow. Defense fallen, and yes, we cannot move, so we're, uh, yeah, we're not doing so well right now, and here comes another crunch attack. This one takes a little bit more out of us. Critical hit, and here we go, close combat for the win. Eat it, Arbok. And, uh, yeah, we lose a little bit more on the, the defensive side right there, so there we go. We defeated Arbok, and bam. Hercules grows to level 38, which is great. Awesome. Fantastic. fan friggin tastic And here she comes out with a Murkrow. So, let's go right ahead and go to Fluff Bolt. Oh yes, the Fluff Bolt. It's not so fluffy much, but guess what? I'm still sticking with the name, guys, because it's a cute name. I think so. I really do. So here we go. Discharge attack, overkill attack, and well, here comes a Nightshade. Yeah, Fluff Bolt's not that fast, but guess what? It could pack a wallop right here. Look at this. Yeah, buddy. Discharge. For the win. Eat it, Murkrow. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Tough man. Oh, yeah. And, well, she's going to be coming out with her strongest Pokemon, Bioplume. So, let's go to the logical choice. Cinder. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. So, some of you new guys right here, the subscribers, I've been wondering, how did I get the name Cinder from, well, Fort Typhlosion? It's very simple, guys. When I was playing Pokemon Crystal, it's very funny. I was actually looking at, uh, what is it? Resident, no, not Resident Evil, but I was looking at Killer Instinct games. You know, I was looking at YouTube, Killer Instinct, a game that I played back when I was a kid. And there was this character named Cinder. Of course, it's that humanoid lava thing. And I was like, you know what? It's a good nickname for a, uh, what would you call it? Uh, a, 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 what is it? A quit lava, so... That's how it came to be, and look at that. Cinder beats Ariana Grande. Oh yeah, she ain't happy. Well, your music sucks. Anywho, our mother's calling us, and, uh, well, we're not gonna answer, I'm sorry. I know that she got us some new items and all that stuff. We're gonna have to take care of that afterwards, but what we're gonna do right now is, uh, use a paralysis heal to heal up our Hercules, because we got a battle coming up, and, uh, it's gonna be, uh, it's gonna be a tough one right here. So, Hercules getting his HP restored. And, well, let's go right ahead and switch out our Pokemon. Because, uh, well, the next guy, he does, some, he does have some pretty good Pokemon right here. So here we go into the elevator. This will actually get us up to the very, very, very top of the tower. The observation deck. And, well... <sighs> Alright, Pokemon gods, help me. Do it. And, well, here we are in the observation deck, a newly looked observation deck, and this guy is like, Oh, you managed to get this far! You're quite a trainer. We will officially announce our comeback. This should bring our boss Giovanni back to our former glory! You better not interfere, and of course, here we have Archer from the show. Archer wanting to battle us, and he's coming out with his hound down. He's taking no time to, well, yeah, to give us some time. Okay, I'm Dower, Dark and uh, Fire type Pokemon, and in Pokemon Crystal or Gold Silver Crystal, this will be the first time you'll see a Houndour. I'm pretty sure this is the first time right here too. And look at that, we flinched. Good gravy. And uh, let's see, let's see, let's see. Well, let's go with a Surf Attack right here. And no, what, wait, oh, seriously, you're spamming the flinch, and here we go again, another Fire Fang. Good gravy, we're gonna. Uh, okay, I was about to say, you're gonna flinch again, you a-hole! And look at that surf attack. For the win, say goodbye to Hundauer. And... 
and well Let's see, we're, we're getting experience points all over the place, and he's gonna be coming out with a coughing, so let's go straight to a uh, good old buddy, Relic. Oh, right, Relic. I don't like you, you don't like me, but guess what? You got the power to defeat this coughing, so let's go right ahead and just, uh, let's just go right ahead and do it. So let's go Psybeam attack right here, and the Psybeam. Will it do it? Can it do it? And it does. Say goodbye to coughing. Alrighty. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. We're doing things. We're making things happen, and coughing is not so happy right now. And we get more experience points, and here he comes out with his most powerful Pokemon, Houndoom. A.K.A. What did I call my Houndoom? Lucifer? Probably. I don't know. Shit. What was the, what was the Houndoom that I called? Oh, there's something. Hera. Yeah, Hera the Houndoom. Man, I think I should bring Hera back. So, as you can see, this is his last Pokemon, and his goal is to bring back Giovanni, but guess what? I'm not going to let that happen. Let's go Surf Attack. Houndoom is looking like a real mean Pokemon right here, and, well, didn't take it all the way, but we're almost there. Okay, Houndoom, bring it on. I got a Shell Bell. What do you got? And he's like, that's impossible. All right, here comes another Fire Fang. Haven't you learned that Nessie's not a fully... Well, it's not fully an Ice-type Pokemon. It's a Water-type Pokemon, too. And it can do this. Say goodbye to Houndoom. Yeah, buddy. Oh, yes. And just like that, guys, we save the world once again. And Hercules gets some levels right there, too. And he's like, no, forgive me, Giovanni. Yeah, he's not happy. He's not like... He's not going to love it. How could this be? Our dreams cannot come to naught like Giovanni did before me. I will despair, Team Rocket. Farewell. And just like that, Team Rocket has been defeated. And, well, here comes our good old buddy, the director. He is happy. And we defeated everybody. And because of that, we are going to be getting the Rainbow Wing, which, of course, opens up something pretty big right here. And uh, we'll be replaced in Rainbow Wing. We found a Rainbow Wing right here. Good friend from uh, Sinewood City. Clear Bell, Gattaca. And before he leaves, he's gonna be like, Oh, I almost forgot, according to my friend Sinewood City, legendary Pokemon will not be up here if you're at the top of the bell tower, yada yada yada, it needs something else, or something like that. Can't remember. And just like that, he gets another one, expecting, fake out, go to my office, yada yada yada. Okay, so that is pretty much it right there, guys. Now, we finally received the Rainbow Wing. That means that something big is going to happen in the next episode. I believe we did get the Clear Bell. I think so. Could be wrong. But, now that we defeated it, all of Team Rocket, if you're playing Soul Silver, you get the Silver Wing. If you're playing this one, Rainbow Wing. That will, uh, that will open up a few, a few other things before you get to the next city and before you get to the Elite Four. I cannot wait. It's going to be frustrating, but guess what? It's well worth it, guys. It is. It's well worth it. So, that was the adventure right here for the Team Rocket thing. That probably will be the last time we'll deal with Team Rocket until we get to Kanto. Now we got smooth sailing into the next gym match. So, again, thank you guys for watching. I will see you guys in the next episode. See you guys.